And so first looking here at Revelation chapter 13, starting in verse 11, it says, Then I saw another beast coming out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spoke like a dragon. And so we know that this beast represents the United States of America. It's rising to power here. It looks like a lamb, has Christian principles, the two horns, the separation of church and state. Uh, but then it says that it spake like a dragon. And so this beast uh, starts to speak like a dragon, and it's, it's this speaking of a dragon that I want to focus on. Now, we know that the dragon from Revelation chapter 12 is Satan. And so this beast is serving as the mouthpiece of Satan. And this is why later on in Revelation, it's called the false prophet. Just as God uses prophets for his mouthpiece uh, to uh, teach and warn the people, uh, Satan has his false prophet as his mouthpiece. And so he uses governments and in this case, the United States of America. And so uh, this beast is speaking like a dragon. Now, how does a dragon speak? How does a dragon speak? Is it kind and patient, loving? You just want to cuddle up next to it, right? Now, what's always coming out of a dragon's mouth when it's speaking? Fire, right? We always see fire, destruction. Uh, here's an artist's rendition of fire coming out of a mouth of a dragon. And so it's not something that you want to be standing in front of, right, when the dragon starts to speak. And we saw this in when Christ was born, right? The dragon, Revelation 12, standing there. Uh, the woman is about to give birth, and the dragon standing there about to to speak fire to destroy the baby, right? And we know that Herod uh, passed legislation to try to destroy all the babies, destroy Christ. So a dragon speaking is destructive. And Ellen White tells us in The Great Controversy, page 442, she says, the speaking as a dragon plainly foretells a development of the spirit of intolerance and persecution. And so when it says that this nation starts to speak like a dragon, we're talking about speaking of intolerance and persecution. Just like that which was manifested by the nations represented by the dragon and the leopard-like beast. And so we know from studying uh, this earth's history uh, during the Dark Ages that these nations spoke and legislated, and if you didn't follow the uh, church teachings uh, during the Dark Ages, you were persecuted, and you weren't tolerated. And so the Bible is predicting that in the United States of America, it too will speak as a dragon, and there will be intolerance and persecution. And so this, this beast from the earth represents a nation— uh, the United States of America. Now, how does a nation speak? How does a nation speak? Well, on that same page in the Great Controversy, it says, the speaking of a nation is the action of its legislative and judicial authorities. And so, how does a nation speak? Through legislation and through judicial uh, enactments or decrees or orders. And so now us in America, we have how many branches of government? Three, right? We have the executive, which is the presidency. We have the legislative, which is Congress. And we have the judicial, which is the Supreme Court and all the other lower courts. Now, it's surprising. A lot of times we're so focused on who the president is, right? And, and, and what's he going to do? But the great controversy tells us that it's the legislative and judicial authorities. And so I think that's interesting. And so what she's saying here is that the Bible is saying is that through 
Congress, through the laws that are passed by Congress and that are upheld and interpreted by the courts, eventually they will be of the dragon. In other words, persecution and intolerance. And so back to the first question, will the Supreme Court play a role in Bible prophecy? Yes, the Supreme Court being the judicial branch of the government is part of the speaking of the nation that will eventually speak as a dragon of having that intolerance and persecution.